Hello everybody, I am Random Jen and this is Orkruch Homfeld. We'll be doing a Let's Play Farming Simulator 22 kind of survival series. Um, I've tried to make it as hard as possible. Um, I've taken all of the money away. <laughs> as you can see, we only have 10,000 pounds. I mean euros, sorry. Uh, we'll put this back to a relatively decent time frame. Um, we're playing, se playing seasons, so we'll have the ability to make our seasons longer as we get more and more things to do as our farm grows. This is our house. I've placed a little mat here, so when we need to sleep, this is where we'll come. Um, this map released onto Mod Hub a couple of days ago, and I think it's really beautiful. Um, we don't. Okay, we own one piece of land. I bought it just to make sure I could buy, and then unfortunately, um, I can't sell it again because apparently. Apparently there's a placeable on this piece of land, um, so I can't sell it. <laughs> so we own this field of corn. Um, we'll work it, because we own it, so we might as well. No point in letting it go to waste. Um, look at these pretty puppies, or whatever they are. Um, but, but that's it. That's all we own is this one field and we have a tractor and a trailer Let's go down to the The store and I'll show you our little thing. What I'd love to do is save up enough to buy this farm here These buildings and everything I think it's nice. Let me show you guys the map nice big map a lovely variety of field sizes we've got smaller fields down around the village and then some really really beautiful big fields out here in the north um, if we look at the prices on some of them like field 17 this beautiful big meadow here 874,000 euro field 6 929,000 field 5 1.3 million so really sizable farm yard farm fields the one that i bought seventy eight thousand um before i realized i then couldn't sell it <laughs> i don't own this one as well do i oh apparently i do yes okay we'll take that money out there you go. So we're going to be aiming to earn up enough money. For a start, we want to buy this farm here. It's got a lovely big hall with some bulk storage yards. There's a little motorbike going past outside. <laughs> a little bit noisy, sorry about that. Nothing I can really do, unfortunately. I have to record during the day when my children are at home because if I try and record at night, they complain that I'm too noisy and I keep them awake. <laughs> Two lovely big silage pits where we can clamp and make some nice money out of these bad boys. And then another fairly decent machine hall here so I think this will be our first yard that we're going to try and buy um, our aim for that will be 52,000 which I think is really reasonable I think that's very much like something we can achieve um, and then our second hall that I'm going to try and a second farm I want to try and get is this very nice 
a dairy farm over here. This is in the centre of town. Oh, I didn't trigger it. Oh, I did trigger it. Okay. And a nice little dairy farm. Backs onto a lovely meadow. Machine hall. Two smaller clamps. Uh, grain storage over here. And then it's got a manure pit and some more space for machines. Oh, I really like this farm. This is going to be our goal, guys and gals. And this one, if we take a look at that, 287,000 euro. Again, very achievable. I don't think that's going to be a difficult one at all and there is a third one over here which is just some storage um, sheds and things uh, 132,000 unfortunately I don't think oh, there is we can we can visit the liquid manure nice big clamp I like this uh, half round tunnel this is very cool I love when map makers put things like this in it's just different I love creativity <laughs> I do miss being able to design my own farm if you guys are watching my hinterland long play series you'll see I really do enjoy designing my own farm um, on that one I'm I started off with well nothing obviously it's a it's a plain map and then I'm building my way up now there are some consumables in here that the map developer gave us right so we're not going to use these we're not going to sell them or do anything with them they're just gonna stay there I might sell them off camera and then just deduct that money from my account much like I just did with that field that I had um, I don't want to have any benefit from that stuff makes the game easier I don't want to do that I want to try and thrive under difficult conditions I can do it I have done it in the past although not to this degree <laughs> not quite starting out with only 10,000 euros um, But I know I can. It is possible. Oh, I can't open these. Okay. Quite a nice farm. Another nice hall. Anyway, that's the guided tour of the three farms available on this map. Alcra Homfeld. I'll put a link in the description. And then beautiful big fields. Some mediums. Some smalls. Oh, and there is another like odd little farm over here let me take you there quickly we'll just complete our tour this is a strange one um, a lot of these sheds I can't open so I'm not sure if they're openable when you own the plot it looks like you can go in them but then there's no trigger on the door, so I'm not sure what's cooking with that. But quite nice sheds here. This looks like animal... Uh, was it pigs, maybe? I can't quite tell with the reflection. Slurry, I think. And then a beautiful big machine hall. Lovely. Alright, there you go. That is the full tour of the four farms on Alkroch Homburg. Homfelt, sorry. Alkroch Homfelt. Oh, 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 we're getting stuck. Oh my goodness. So now what we'll do 
is we will go down to the store to our little yay I really oh these bricks oh my eyes look at the shape of the sun <laughs> right so we have got the new Holland Zebra 5640 uh, what's this called a um, I can't think of the word for the little dip nose. I love it though. It's so cute. <laughs> I decided I would get this little guy because it's adorable. It is a mod. Um, and we also have a nice little trailer. So that will get us started. Anything that we need to do with those guys, we can. In fact, what we probably should do um, is have a look at our field uh, what would it cost to purchase the soil information 2,100 that's 20% of our finances that's too much we literally cannot afford to do that right now so what we're going to do I think is see all right we've got some very generous contracts Perhaps, perhaps it'll make sense to, to turn down the rewards on these contracts. Let's just have a look here. Uh, harvesting. Oh, I do love a good harvesting contract. Field 33 for 10,000. Let's see. Where is field 33? How big is it? Field... 33 oh okay that's a that's a very large field I feel like 10,000 euros to harvest that big boy that's fair right I mean that's not unrealistic if we're getting 10,000 for that that's a that's a very big field <laughs> if we were to purchase that bad boy that's a 450,000 euro field I'm going to say pounds f until I'm thinking straight here. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Oh, drop nose. That's the word I was looking for that I couldn't find. It's a drop nose. Sorry, guys. I have a slight brain issue. Um, it does sometimes take me a while to get there, but I do in the end. And is there a, uh, no, there's no like uh, plowing or anything that we can do. Although I did see a cultivating. We could possibly just put a worker on this cultivating. Because um, we can have up to three contracts at once. I am running a contract mod, as you can see. This is not the usual thing. What we can do is we can change rewards. We can make all kinds of alterations if we feel that things are too easy we're getting too much money um, we can come in and change that one very nice thing that I really like um, is if we do a bunch of contracts for a farmer let's say okay seven contracts for a farmer we can get a five percent discount let's make it oh, eight percent so if we do seven contracts for a farmer we can get an eight percent discount on the cost of the field i think that's fair You've done a lot of work you get a little bit of a discount i'm not going to take the higher difficulty because we're only running one day months if we had a longer month i would activate that but for now i don't think that makes sense we won't have lazy farmers for now all right. Um, I reserve judgment on reward settings, um, just because for now that harvesting ten thousand seems fair. We'll come back and revisit that at any time if we feel that we need to. All right. So let's clear ourselves a bit of space here. I don't want auto start. Sorry, guys. Back in the menus again. 
off and then field stones off okay good I'm not currently tabbing through vehicles but just in case I need to at any point in the future I don't like to have auto start on I don't know where I'm going to keep excess grain I'm probably going to have to just sell it Oh, sorry, bad view there. I'll move this fella out the way. I will use follow me so that we can get everything down to the field in one go. Wow. That is a serious look at this bad boy oh this is beautiful oh my goodness good thing it's not mine Hashtag <laughs> rented equipment. <laughs> oh, sorry, guy. All right, there you go. Beautiful. I'm going to go again with the harvester in the front. Oh, let's see if we can get around this corner better. Oh, it's not easy with this long trailer. Oh. Oh, yeah, we did it. Oh. Oh, only a little bit of a knock, but otherwise not bad, even if I do say so myself. Okay, now with this guy. Luckily, this has got um, that nice flexible joint. I'm sure there's a technical term, but I don't know it because I am not a technical farmer. I just do this because I like making neat lines. All right, let's go. I would love to go through the village, but there's a very, very tight corner. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go down the back road I'm going to have to park in the sunflowers there's just nowhere else to do it luckily uh, it looks like crop destruction won't be an issue okay and then getting through those trees will be a bit of a challenge but it's all right goodness this is rented we don't have to take it back let us unfold this big beast and make it happen all right harvester is unfolded we're in gear i think what we're going to do now is put on some music and get this massive job underway. Sit back, relax, and let's harvest.
that is a job well done guys um this was a beast of a of a, of a harvester an absolute mission to get it out here but once it was here it really took care of this field very nicely Luckily, we're going to be able to fit the entire harvester into this nice big truck that they provided us. Uh, so we'll take it down and sell it. I mean, <laughs> we will take it down and offload it. Hopefully get a little bit of extra money in the bank from excess stock. Um, let's take this off the field it was nice but I'm personally very glad I don't have to try and drive this back the way we came because my goodness what a nightmare <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna make a, a short which I'll post on my channel for you guys to watch um, of the struggle bus that was getting this guy onto this field <laughs> was such a nightmare i'll cut it out of this video but i'll make a little short just for you guys if you're interested you can go and have a look at how much we struggled to get here uh, there was a lot of swearing involved i'll take the swearing out <laughs> but <laughs> i'm very glad that i have super strength let me just put it that way because i used it multiple times that we got beached on all kinds of things so if you, if you need a good laugh you can head on over and check that out all right let's just see where are we taking this to the seed and fertilizer factory um, all right, seed and fertilizer factory. I don't know where that is. Grain mill. American workshop, seed and fertilizer factory. That shouldn't be too difficult. We'll head down here to the T-junction. We'll go right, left, right, and we'll be there. How about if we go this way and hopefully not destroy the light? Yes, that's it. <laughs> when in doubt, work it out. Oh, and then crash into the petrol tank. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, all right, we, we're not, we can't keep any excess because, oh my gosh. We don't have anywhere to store it, so we're just going to have to sell it all for now. Um, what do we have left? 27. 27,000 liters excess. Okay, oat. We could take this to Agrarius. Or actually where we are right now is the best price. Seed and fertilizer factory at 1423. So out we go. That's gonna be a huge boost. There you go. Um and we immediately got our eight percent discount. We didn't okay, that didn't work right. But also, we didn't get any. We didn't get any income for that. Hmm. Like there was a lot of extra. Maybe this contract system I'm using makes it go to him. I don't know. I do not know. That was 27,000 liters, guys. Okay. 
I may have to just go back and check work it out add it in because I wanted that money I don't know about you guys what do you think should we add that money in I wanted that I did that work right <laughs> that was worthwhile having in my mind that should have accrued to us um, I'll rewatch the VOD and just see exactly at what point it ticked over to 100% complete and is there any extra that should come to us but for now we are done for this episode um, thank you guys so much for watching um, take care of yourselves and each other I have been Random Jen this has been Alkra Homfeld and uh, we'll see you again next time have a wonderful day Goodbye.